they have all that stuff. You, if you know that you you have your monthly, you should have that with you just in case that you're gonna have your monthly. Um, most time, I tell my my trainees, hey, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a Walmart run. If you need anything while we do a Walmart run, you know you're more than welcome to go get whatever you need out of Walmart. But the, while we underload or going to pick up a load. It's not my responsibility to make sure you have it. You should make sure you have it. You're an adult. You make sure you have it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. No, no, nigga. You ain't a terrorist. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. But I did. Look at me. Why do they call it a Bluetooth? Like, I don't get it. I know it's like, I know it's like blue. Why, why do they call it a Bluetooth? Like, like when somebody I made know. <laughs> when somebody made these uh these technologies and uh, they come up with names they have this technology where you can put a headset on and wirelessly connect it to your phone where you can actually have a conversation and somebody had the bright idea to call it call a bluetooth, bluetooth. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Pinky is in the building. Yes, yes, yes. Female <laughs> trainer extraordinaire. Uh, uh, Stevens trucking extraordinaire. Pinky, how long before we get into uh, today's topic? How, how long have you... Uh, been driving and how long you been training? Uh, five years uh, driving and four years training. So just a year into into your driving career, somebody from the so somebody from or probably your fleet manager at the time kind of came uh, kind of came up to you and say, hey. We need a we need a trainer. Uh, would you be interested? Ain't that how it happened? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, it wasn't a fleet manager. It was just one of the the guys that is in the training department, and act told me that I would be a good um, candidate to be a trainer. Now you know what, Pinky. I I I suggested that for people to be trainers especially good trainers. I I suggested that you should have at least maybe 2 years, but with you it was it was just a year after you started driving. Um what I mean, what was the reason behind you deciding to uh be a trainer? for Stevens. Just to have some more female trainers available to um, train the female. Now, do you agree that there is a, uh, well, they now say that it is a shortage. It's a training or a trainer shortage out there now. That's why some of these mega carriers are not bringing on uh, inexperienced or new drivers after they come out of school. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Especially for the females, yeah. Why, why do you think uh, there are less female trainers out here? Because females don't want to deal with the bullshit that females carry. They sit and listen to stuff on social media from other people, other drivers and family members, and they bring all of that stuff onto a trainer's truck and, you know, have that all that in their head instead of trying to actually listen to the trainer and actually learn from the trainer. So the trainer is battling against social media and trying to get to the, tra the, the trainee to actually do their job. Mm -hmm. And they just most of the women don't want to do that. They, they, well, you know, this person told me this, that person, it, it, you know, 
if that was the case, you know, like I tell them, you know, is their name on the side of the truck? Because that's the case you could have been with them. All right, Pinky, there's this uh, female trainee TikToker. Uh, her video is going viral right now. Um, very entitled, very rude, uh, very disrespected, um, or very disrespectful. I'm sorry. Uh, I got with my man D Nitty. Shout out to D Nitty. Uh, he uh, gave his thoughts from a male trainer perspective. Now, I wanted to bring on a female trainer and get your perspective so what's your thoughts on that video part that i don't understand is you getting on my fucking nerves i'm not getting on your nerves you is getting on my fucking you, nerves you getting I'm on my fucking nerves to tell you you getting you on my are, fucking you nerves you cannot cry these yes you could nerves. yes you could yes, you we waiting here we waiting here to one one at night to pick they up the fucking load you. we could go to fucking dollar store they don't want you to drive that truck what's up like they I'm getting irritated, I'm doing everything. I did my time. Call them people and tell them get, get me the fuck off this van now. Get up, you get off right now. The fuck? Or take me home. The fuck? You not about to leave me out in the middle? Ain't gonna be fucked up. Call them motherfucking people and tell them get me. I ain't even driving no more. How about that? Fuck you talking about? Tell them I'm not driving no more. Get me the fuck off this van. Where, fuck what you talking about? You wanna oh, she the guy like that with me on the truck. She just got off the truck right there to there. I mean, I read some of the comments, but it should have got off the truck right then and there. There was no ifs, ands, but you just get off. I had a call say, just say, I'm dropping her. She's getting off the truck right here at this receiver. She's getting off. Now, a lot of, you know, as, as I talked to D, and I, I told him the same thing. I said, if I was a trainer and if that was me, yeah, I – yeah, you you would have to get off my truck. That bad energy, that bad vibe, and I'm not putting myself in a, 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 a possible situation with you. You know, any you you could go back and say anything. You know, after you know after this right here. So yeah, right. I, I I would like for you to definitely get off my truck, and as I. As I told him, I, you know, I was like, well, it's not up to him to, you know, get you home. It's up to the company. I, you know, that's why I always say that never, never come broke. Ne never come broke. That's, that's, that's your problem. Y'all come up in the industry and y'all have no way to get home. No, you know, and, and y'all, y'all pretty much stuck. Now, as D. Nitty right. explained to me, he said, well, you know, the company, it's up to the company to, you know, get you home or get you out of that situation. And I was like, oh, okay. I I get you. I, I feel you. But, um, but yeah, Pinky, you, if you, like you said, you, if you was in that situation, she would have got up out of there. It looks it looks as though it was all brought on because of you know of her personal issues. Like for example, well it's not an example, it was actually said, but she wanted she she's on her period. She needed to get some pads. She wanted him to take her to the dollar store to get some pads. She felt that being that they was there uh, at the time, I guess getting unloaded, they can or he can, you know, I guess unhook from the trailer and take her to go and get some pads, I guess. But as me and D, you know, said in the video, uh, it's, it's not that trainer's responsibility for that. Now, Pinky, you you had you you had some horror stories, and we we talked about that in the past with with females because of that particular situation. Is it up to the trainer to get you to to take you to get the stuff that you need, stuff that you should already have? 
No, you should already have all that stuff. You, if you know that you you have your monthly, you should have that with you just in case that you're gonna have your monthly. Um, most time, I tell my my trainees, hey, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a Walmart run. If you need anything while we do a Walmart run, you know you're more than welcome to go get whatever you need out of Walmart. But the, while we underload or going to pick up a load. It's not my responsibility to make sure you have it. You should make sure you have it. You're an adult. You make sure you have what you need. Now, Pinky, they, they, you know, a lot of people in the comments, you know, a lot of them support her, you know, and a lot of them, you know, had they had their opinions about, you know, what was said and what was done in the video and how it was, you know, portrayed in the video. Um, with that with that said um in the video uh she's you know being disrespectful you know and it sounds as though that the the trainer was like super calm and everything he was calm cool in the collective what do you what, what, what's your opinion on on the trainer and how he acted in that video I think he, he did the right thing by keeping this cool and be professional, you know, with the situation. Because he could have just, you know, as well flipped off on her. And I get my ass off to him for that. Now, <laughs> I I mentioned before, before we got on the phone, that a lot of people in the comment session like, well, yeah, you should have got a female trainer things would have been better with a female trainer and i'm i'm reading them and i'm going like mm, i don't know because i not only you but i i talked to uh some females that had female trainers that was horrible like you know so what do you think do you think a female would have been different or would have been better for her in that perspective? No, because it would have had, she, she would have popped off the same way she popped off on that male trainer. She would have popped off on a female trainer. So it would have been either or. So it wouldn't have matter if she had a male or a female. Now, of course, there are horrible trainers out here. Do you agree? I agree. Do you also agree that respect? Patience and respect on both sides should be met. Yes. That's what's up. That's that's all I say. I mean, if you if 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 you the trainer, right, and you don't want somebody on the truck, you just well, how how would you go by getting them off the truck? Like you know, hey, I'm I'm not feeling your vibe right now. You know, I'm not comfortable. Um, what, what what do you do? You you you'll get a hold of uh, of somebody like in safety or something like that. What what is the process for you to get uh, a bad trainee off your truck? Uh, the process would be if it's during the hours of you know Monday through Friday. Uh, um, or Monday through Saturday, um, between eight and five, Saturday's a little different, but I call the training department, call their training counselor and tell them, Hey, uh, they need to go. I can't deal with it no more. They got to get off. If it's after hours, I just tell safety them same thing. I call safety. Hey, she got to get off the truck. They got to get off right now. Now being that you're in, you're, you're the trainer. You, it's your truck. You there to train them. They there to learn, but they putting up so much of an issue. If you're not able to get a hold of anybody, uh, would you, you know, pretty much like let them know, like, yo, you you got to get off the truck. And if you don't get off the truck, we, you know, I'm I'm gonna have to call the police. Be, which that particular trainer did. He he did call the police. Um, but I mean, are you guys in the right for like, like kicking them off the truck and leaving them 
way th- where they at if if that particular situation, the way she was acting, and the way that the energy was, would you be in the right to do that? We're in the right, but our company even won't allow us to do that. They prefer us to wait until we at least, you know, because they just don't want us to just abandon them. And Damn good coffee. And hot. I said our company, you know, with, we're in the right, but they wouldn't want us to just drop them and abandon them without them knowing what's going on. So in that case, for like for me, I would just sit on that load, go to a truck stop, or, you know, the, the receiver, shipper, has truck parking out stable. But they do what that do. But in the event, if it's pertaining to my safety, oh, they're off the truck. I'm, I'm not going to let them stay on the truck to do anything to hurt me. Do you now... Pinky, before we get on up out of here, man, and thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. Um, do you, who, who, well, you already told me this, but refresh my memory again. Who is the, uh, who is it? Is it the men or is it the females that are, that are not trainable? <laughs> for me, Training females are, to me, that tra- I mean, you got some that are trainable, but females are, the, to me, another female is kind of, you know, bad. And I guess it goes for the men, too, because the men, some of the men said it, they have the same issue when it comes to guys. So for me, I found my little, my, my little, my medium. I train young guys, close to my son's age, and I have no problem. See, that's the same thing. That that's the same thing with D Nitty. He said he won't train females. He he said he just it's just something about him that you know that he won't put his put himself into. Just like what you just said, you you won't train you 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 just train males. You won't train females either. But you did try it though, but yep. it wasn't <laughs> It wasn't conducive, so it's it is safe to say that it doesn't matter whether you are male or female. If you just get that one irate person on your truck, it's it's just not going to work, right? Right. Exactly. All right. All right. Well, before we get on up out of here, what what would be what would be some 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 tips that you would give to new drivers out here uh that's coming out here that's about to get into the industry what what would be some tips what type of attitude you think they should bring uh with them when they get on the trainer's truck to have an open mind uh a mind that's eager to learn they i said have an open mind be eager to learn, and all that stuff with social media, leave it right where it's at. Mm, that's what's up, Pinky, y'all. Do you, one last question. Since you mentioned social media, do you think social media has messed up the, has, has, uh, has messed up the scene for what trucking is now? Nah, not really. It's just the drivers. If the drivers are be, you know, truthful, you know, some of them are truthful about what they do. Then you got some of them that are not. Some of them make it look like it's fun and it. Uh, some make it more of a sex appeal. Trucking is not nothing of sex appeal. I, I don't find anything sexy about trucking. Mm, all right. Okay. Well. Okay, I haven't, I haven't heard, I haven't heard of it that way. But yeah, there is a lot of, there's a lot of sex appeal, especially on the female side of trucking when it comes to trucking social media, though. But I'm here for it. But that 
<laughs> but that's like the career fair I just left, and a young lady, her mom, her mom wanted, her mom asked me about safety on the road. And the one thing I told the young lady, I said, what you wear when you're off the road, that's your business. You got men that's been out here on the road for more than three months, been out here six months, ain't seen a woman, ain't touched a woman. They sit in the middle of their tr- their bed watching trucks come through. You have your sleeper birth curtains wide open. Boom. What did you just do to yourself? Put a target on yourself. You're not thinking of your safety. You're not thinking of how you're carrying yourself. You're not thinking how you're looking. I don't care how you want to dress. That's, you know, each care about it. They want to dress the way they want. Fine. But be smart about it. Be safe about it. Some sleeping birth curtains there, close them. Because, like I said, you have men that have not been home to their wives or have, don't have nobody. And they've been out on the road. They see you coming. You're a target. You say you, you say us men see these females miles away. <laughs> you, see, you say we see them coming miles away, huh? Mm-hmm. And that's why I told the guys to keep them closed because they don't know if you got a dog in the back. They don't know if you got a 300-pound man back there. But if the curtains close, they don't know who's in your truck with you. You know, that's a good tip that everybody should uh, should have, especially females. I, I think when y'all get up in the morning, uh, close them curtains. You know, that that right there with them curtains closed would, would keep some of the unsavories away. You know, guys see those curtains right. closed, you know, they, they, they probably, you know, might not you know, might not have, they probably, let me rephrase it. They'll probably approach you in a different way if, if they notice those curtains are closed. So, so yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's a good, that's, that's, that's a good safety tip right there. All right, Pinky. Cause I see them in the pictures. Hmm? I said, I see them in their pictures. When they take pictures and they doing videos, what's open, the, the, the curtains in the back are wide open. That's what TikTok is about. <laughs> That's what TikTok <laughs> is about. Getting, getting. It's the aesthetic. <laughs> so yeah. I want to. I want to show. I, I want to show and tour my truck. And you guys already know that I'm a single female out here. Uh, I don't have nobody with me. So you know, if you see me in the truck stop, and you know, you you just happen to be some way to that dude that normally watches you yeah you know might turn from i, I don't know i don't know I, I just hope nothing happened to you ladies out here you know i'm all for the ladies out here be safe you know and um and do what you need to be doing man you know if trucking isn't right. if trucking isn't for you and you might want to get in you you might want to get in a whole nother career man you know but thank you pinky very much i really do You're appreciate welcome. it thank you thank you and um and yeah you take it easy and uh we'll get back at it in another one okay all right ma'am stay safe out there all right you too big cheese got it locked Boy. Won't you let me out?